All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. We're talking about the Los Angeles Chargers in tonight's video. It's over past midnight here in uh, Clearwater, Tampa, Florida. Complete different coast. The Chargers are 2-0 for the first time since 2012. I can't believe that's an actual real statistic. Uh, J.K. Dobbins, resurgent season resurgent career he currently leads the national football league in rushing 131 against the panthers he is 266 total on the season jim harbaugh brand new fresh head coach um he's leaning on the offensive line he's leaning on the run game we'll get to the justin herbert injury um I still think Justin Herbert easily plays this upcoming Sunday, but it's neither here nor there. Only the Saints and the Steelers have a higher run percentage than the Chargers at 59.7% so far. Uh, the Packers are the only team with more rushing yards per game than the Chargers at 197.5. Like, it's just truly, genuinely a crazy statistic. And you'll be talking about the Chargers for a couple of weeks now. Um, you know, Harbaugh had this quote to say, like Moses, I'm going to dial in and on my staff. And I, before we get into like the, the meat and potatoes, nitty gritty of the video, cause it's super late here, folks. Like it's just super late. One thing that went so under the radar with Harbaugh signing with this chargers team pre preseason was the way he hires Harbaugh hires winners. In fact, all Harbaugh's, of course, I am saying that weirdly, all Harbaugh's, <laughs> all Harbaugh's hire correctly. I don't know why that sounds super weird, probably because it's very late. But anyways, folks, before we get any further into tonight's video, if you guys enjoy it, be sure to hit that like button, hit that sub button for daily NFL content. We're posting actually a couple of Chargers videos. We're posting actually right now Chargers videos every couple of days. So be sure to hit that like button, hit that sub button for more. If we're trying to get this video to 100 likes, that would mean the absolute world to me. Like, like I said, we're posting Chargers videos every other day at this point. I don't know why that's going to change. Um, but this quote specifically, like Moses, I'm going to die leaning on my staff. And just for some context here, I, one thing that just severely flew under the radar, I know we just said that is Harbaugh hires so well. And in fact, all the Harbaugh's hire so well, but that was just something that was overlooked. Whether it's your DC, whether it's your offensive coordinator, Greg Roman, like Harbaugh hires, like he knows exactly what he is doing. So the Chargers offense right now, it was like a weird concern. There's no clear cut wide receiver number one. Uh, the offensive line, why would you draft Joe Alt in the top 10 picks? What's Harbaugh doing? The Chargers offense threw two games, 12th in total yards per game at 332.5. They're currently 12th in points per game at 24. And you know what? They are 28th in passing yards per game at 135. But like, keep it in the buck. Like, not a single soul on planet Earth is concerned about Justin Herbert. I think we're all fully well aware that Justin Herbert, given the opportunity, given the chance, can at least give you a fighting chance. And that's being very generous to the rest of the National Football League. But like, nobody's concerned that the Chargers are the fourth worst passing yards per game offense in the NFL two games into the season. Rushing yards per game, like we just alluded to, number two, right behind, what was it, the uh, Steelers? Oh, sorry, the Packers. I grew in bit. I'm a Packers fan. I grew in bit Packers. 197.5 rushing yards per game. And then the defense, something that's so overlooked. Like, you know, Bosa, you know, Mac, but the defensive statistics have been a real game changer. Total yards allowed per game. Only 227 and a half. That's second best in the National Football League. Points per game allowed 6.5. That's number one in the National Football League. Passing yards allowed per game 147. That's sixth in the National Football League. And then finally, rushing yards allowed per game 80 and a half. That's once again sixth in the National Football League. And then, like, I just want to say real quick good news with Jen, uh, Justin Herbert. Jim Harbaugh had this quote to say earlier today that Herbert's ankle injury was feeling much better good today. Kind of a weird quote. Uh, it's currently 
technically Thursday morning at 12.20 a.m., but you know, I'm pretty much recording this video Wednesday night. There is no shot in God's green earth that Justin Herbert does not participate in this upcoming weekend. There's just no shot. So he suffered this injury during the first quarter of the Chargers win 26 to 3 over the Carolina Panthers this past Sunday. Um, despite the injury, Harbaugh said Wednesday that the quarterback is feeling much better and that he's optimistic that he won't miss time. I have once again, like you know, he got into the tent. Herbert didn't miss a single game, or sorry, a single drive this past weekend against the Carolina Panthers. I'm hoping, obviously, long term, this is nothing to be concerned about. But like, even short term, to me, there's just no way Herbert misses this upcoming game against the Pittsburgh Steelers. No matter how you want to chalk it up, the Steelers have one of the best defenses in the National Football League. I don't care who's starting: Justin Fields, Russell Wilson, Kyle Frickin' Allen, Kenny Pickett, Mason Rudolph. It doesn't matter to me. The, the Pittsburgh Steelers have one of the best defenses in the NFL. And we're about to learn a lot about this Chargers team in the next couple of games. But you know, to me, Quentin Johnston, he's been a huge reason that this team is seeing success. Five catches, 51 yards, two touchdowns this past weekend against Carolina. It was a huge pinpoint heading into the offseason. Like, oh, you're not going to you know, pay money for you know, more solidified wide receiver one. You're not going to trade for more solidified wide receiver one. And, you know, it's obviously because Quentin Johnston had a very rocky season. Two games into a sophomore campaign, Johnston is on his way to proving why you drafted him where you did one year ago. Extremely good football game in Sunday's blowout against the Carolina Panthers. He led the Los Angeles Chargers with five catchers. For 51 yards, two touchdowns. Keep in mind, Johnston had two touchdown catches all of last season. So two weeks into the year, he leads the Chargers in receptions. He leads them in receiving yards. He leads them in yards per target. Like Harbaugh had this to say, he continues to make these tough catches across the middle. Not many people do that. When there's a heavy ball lasered right onto you in traffic, like this is the scheme for Johnston. This is the scheme for the offense. I have a lot more advanced statistics. Unfortunately, it's 1230 here in Florida, so I don't want to run too much out of time. But like people were freaking out that the Chargers drafted Joe Alt in the first round. And I know it's a small sample size. I know we're only two games into the season, but you can you can see why immediately. You can just see why immediately. So, yeah, we're going to keep an eye on it. But I don't know why the Chargers will not win 10 football games this upcoming season. I don't care if the Chiefs, the Raiders, I, I don't care who's in the AFC. I, I really don't care. The Chargers are a double-digit win team this upcoming season. Thank you guys for watching. Hit that like button. Hit that sub button for daily NFL content. Give me a two weeks into the season. Give me a projected win-loss total for this Chargers team down below. Peace.